Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and in this guitar lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Only Wanna Be With You, the Post Malone Pokemon 25 version. It's a lovely little song. Just before I teach you it though, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, which is Andy Hillier, give me a like on the video, leave me some comments in the comment section, including where in the world you're from, any songs you wanna learn, and if you love what I'm doing and you wanna support me, keep me going, I've got a Patreon page where I put lots of tabs for this so you can print them out at home. My guitar's in standard tuning. We've got three lines that we need to learn for the song. Uh, the intro sounds like this. So for that, we've got a G chord. The way I'm gonna play the G chord is my little finger on E3, third finger on E3 nearest to your face, and second finger on A2. We can do three downstrokes on that. And then a downstroke with just take your fingers off so you hit like open strings. And then we're gonna to go to like a C chord uh, with your first finger on B1, third finger on A3. We'd normally put our second finger on uh, D2, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna get the third finger to touch the string so it doesn't ring. So we end up just with the A, the G, and the B strings ringing. And you can do three up strokes. And then on a downstroke, add your little finger onto B3, and then take the little finger off for an upstroke. So when you get to that C chord, it goes up, 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 down, up. And then two percussive notes with a down up. Or you can hit open strings. It doesn't matter either way on that. So the first bar slowly goes like this. Bit faster. And up speed. The next bar, it's gonna use the same rhythm, but the chord changes slightly. So we do the three Gs, the open strings on the next hit. On the upstroke, we're gonna play an A minor slash D, which is just your finger on B1, second finger, on G2, and you want to hit just the four strings. It doesn't matter too much if you go up to the A string on some of them, but try and get just four strings. And you're going to go up, 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 down, and then on that last up, you take your fingers off, and then two percussive notes. So bar two slowly goes. Bit faster. speed. So the first two bars you get bar number three is the same as bar number one and then in bar four we've got a D chord which is your second finger E2, first finger on G2 and third finger on B3. You're just gonna do two hits on that game. Ideally put a little rest in between it. Though. So the whole line goes like this. And up speed. to the next line and we get so the first two bars there is just a G chord twice then we go to that A minor slash D that we had in the first line uh, so and we go up 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 down up so two G's going down down to the A minor slash D and go up 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 down up so bar five slowly goes Bit faster. Up speed. Okay, and that bar, the next bar, are exactly the same. And it just does that a couple of times, 
before the verse starts. Now, when the verse starts, it's going to do those two bars times four. So you're not getting this. So that was the first two bars of that line times four. And then it goes to an A minor chord. You could either strum it just as a chord or do the same rhythm, down, down, up, 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 down, up. So A minor seven is just your first finger on B1, second finger on D2. And then it goes to a C chord where all you need to do is add your third finger to A3 and do the same rhythm. So bars seven and eight go. Okay, and then that whole line just keeps repeating round again. Um, and once you've done it the second time round, it goes to the next line, which is almost the same. So the first two bars are exactly the same. Then it goes to A minor for a bar, and then it just goes to the D chord going. So it goes. And then just goes back to the verse line and just keeps repeating that round till the end of the song. Well, hopefully you've enjoyed this little guitar lesson. If you have, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel, it really does help me out. Give me a like on the video. Leave me some comments in the comment section, including any songs you want to learn, what you thought of the video, uh, where in the world you're from. I love to hear from you guys. And if you love what I'm doing and you want to support me, keep me doing these videos. I've got a Patreon page. I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. I'll put tabs on there. Um, I'll put the tabs for this on there and I'll Got loads of other tabs on there as well. Thanks for watching this. I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time.